welcome back to Film Debate, apparently. <laughs> I'm joined by the same guests as last time. Alice! And me, Sam. So, we're still talking about the films of 2017. We still are, yes. Because there's so much coming up in 2017. There really is. So, uh, the good and the bad. Yes. Let's start off. With the bad, I think. With the bad, the emoji oh. film. Uh, it makes me not want to go into the film industry anymore. Yeah, it actually makes me want to die inside. Literally, yeah. I've not seen anything about this film. It's so awful. The trailer so is genuinely just atrocious. It's all just about this emoji. They all have a specific emotion, but then this one character, the main character, can do more than one emotion, so he goes <gasps> on a journey to emotion. save the phone that he's what? trapped in. And... I don't know, he falls in love with the female emoji because that has her. Because heterosexual relationships are Literally, a must. Literally, the, the male emoji is just like a circle with legs and feet, and then this girl's got like female. makeup on, and she's got long hair. And it's so like, you know she's a woman, obviously. How can, how <laughs> can us, the audience, I mean, tell someone is, like is like female so with, without her looking female? <sighs> so difficult. Make the emojis gay. <laughs> <laughs> Make the, emo to make the emoji gay. There's a petition to, gay. Gay, to make it, um, to get it cancelled though. Oh, I have not signed it yet, and I probably will be. <laughs> I've signed it. Right, so, uh, moving on from... Radically yeah. bad to radically good, Star Wars. Star, well, Star radically good. Well... Very good, not radically. Compared to the emoji movie. Compared to the emoji movie, dirt is good. Yeah. I would so, gladly watch yeah. Dirt for an hour instead of watching the Emoji movie. But yeah, so the Star Wars, I'm excited to see what's yeah, really, coming up. I am excited to see the Star Wars episode 8 because I want to see where they go from there and what, of course, they do with uh, what's happening with Carrie Fisher. It's very yeah. sad and I really want to see what happens. Apparently they already recorded her scenes. They so had They had yeah. already, well, yeah. I, I don't know if they recorded scenes, but they had plans for scenes with her in. I think they've got I think them. they filmed, like, oh. a couple. That's it's... I think it'll be a nice, like, tribute, though. It would be a good tribute, definitely, for uh, yeah. Carrie Fisher, but um, oh, that was just so sad when that happened. Mm. Another film coming out, which I'm looking forward to, is Spider-Man Homecoming. I think it should be good. I like yeah. I like the new the new Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, he first appeared in uh, Civil War, wasn't it? Oh, I love yeah. Civil War. Civil War was really good, and I did, when I first saw him, I didn't like him. Yeah. Just because... Like all people, I'm gonna use the same complaint. He looks too much like a kid. He does look, uh, he does look very like a kid. young. Isn't that supposed to be the point though? It is the point. I think though. it's good. It's it's showing him like really at the start of it, like having like a onesie as his suit. I yeah. really like that. Yeah, uh, but and then like really coming into his own and like Tony Stark like helping him with the suit. And I, that. I like I'm the, excited to see I like that. the Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be in I'm it. I'm excited to see Zendaya's part in it as well yeah. because she was. Everyone is so uh, assumed that she would be like the love interest, but then apparently she's not. Like she was. Make Spider-Man like... gay, 2017. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Did you see what happened at the Golden Globes? Like Ryan Reynolds and Andrew yes, Garfield. Yes, like, I did saying, actually. I'm so up for Deadpool and Spider-Man dating. It, it should That'd be, be a great. Thing. Should be Dead, a thing. That's what I want to see in Deadpool too. A but pansexual Deadpool. What do you call that? Dead spider. Spider pool. Spider pool. It's, it's called Spidey pool. Yeah. Spidey pool. Uh, but. I have a life, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but after seeing the trailer, I didn't think he was, like, as much... I don't know what it was. Silver Boy, he looked like a kid, and in yeah. Homecoming, he doesn't look as much, He's like, childlike. I know he took his shirt off. Yeah, I, I bet you remember <laughs> that. That make him look like a kid anymore. <laughs> so, moving on. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, a new film for that is coming out. Five. Uh, that has been a long time coming, though. Oh, yeah. Like, they had, like, a really... Like, they had a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean films in, like, about the space of two years, and then suddenly, no more. And then no, yeah. Dead Men Tell No Tales is coming out. It should be good. It I'm should excited be really good. Like, the villains look very similar to uh, the David Jones ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. they kind of got that underwater dead kind of thing going on. But I like how it's Javier Bardem, because he's been pretty good in, like, villain roles before, like, yeah. in Skyfall and No Country for Old Men, if you two have seen... I haven't seen... I've seen Skyfall, but yeah. I've not seen... Uh, uh, He's got a no country film, man. I'll say that. Yeah. But I can't say anything else because spoilers. So what and you don't want spoilers. Logan, Logan is coming out, and I am. What's Logan? That is that is the Wolverine, Wolverine film, oh. and I am beyond excited to I'm see excited. this. I, old man Wolverine. Oh, that should be good. Oh. He is old. Now. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of the solo Wolverine films haven't been great so far. Well, I really, personally, I oh, really okay. enjoyed uh, the film. The, the one that's in Japan, that was really good. Yeah. So I hope it takes after that. Okay. 
Okay, well, I think that's all we've got time for again on today's episode, so we'll see you next time on Film Debate. Bye! Bye.